Full Sail University. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. That's pretty. I mean, everybody talks about that school, man. Is it like the 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 premier school for you know film and editing and stuff like that? Here, yeah, it is. In in uh, Florida, it is the number one school for that. Its sister school is a uh, LA film okay. over there in uh, LA, and they do a lot of uh, things together. Okay. They have a lot of online courses. You have some instructors that teach out here that teach the online course okay. over there for their film school. So you mentioned you, you're going to start teaching over there so soon? Yeah, I am going to start <laughs> teaching there. I'm going to be doing some of their uh, show production courses. Okay, okay. Um, I do what you call, um, I'm not a professor, what is it called? Just basically like a lab instructor. Okay. So I'm not a teacher teacher, mm -hmm. but I'm the guy that comes in uh, three to four days a week. Okay. And I'll break down the show production, some of the rules, the things that they need to know about Absolutely. show production. You know, like when the lights come up, when the lights go down, down. Um, what different colors mean for the production itself. Okay. Those kind of things. Well, but okay, so you went to full scale, but you were already doing your thing, you know, before you actually went there. I mean, did yeah. I help you at all, or you already knew all these things that was trying no, to teach no, you? No, 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 by, by no, no, okay. no form of imagination, I'm the sharpest tool in the <laughs> shit. I had to learn a lot of stuff uh, going along. Okay. Um, when I initially started, I didn't, I didn't see myself going back for more education, mm -hmm. but I did, and it just, it just helped. It, right. it helped me as far as the responsibilities of production were concerned, the things that were expected mm -hmm. from you from different positions, uh, why you have to know certain certain steps. You know, it's kind of like uh, learning how to walk before you can crawl. Right, so right, right. So now, now you have a, you sure have, uh, because you're also a businessman. You, yeah. you have a company called Smart Solutions Production. Yep. Tell us a little bit about what, what, what does Smart Solution Production do? Oh, well, we, we edit. We're in-house uh, post-production, pre-production. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm finding myself doing a lot of pre-production more now where people will call and they need to get a show off the ground. Okay. And so I'll end up going in and giving them the steps on what they need to do. I, I got a call here a couple of weeks ago. A guy is going in and he's doing insurance sales and he's doing uh, renovations for houses and okay. stuff like that. So he needed someone to pretty much walk him through the process of if he was going to shoot this show and what he would need to go through to make it happen. Okay. And so you do a lot of pre-pro around that and what kind of equipment he would need, stuff like that. Okay. And then, of course, later on, he came back and he was like, well, listen, I need someone to shoot it. Okay, <laughs> okay. It, so. Oh, so, so you shoot too. I shoot Not too. Not only do you edit, you shoot, pre-production yep. work. Okay, okay. Now, what kind of clientele do, do you work with? Wow, I work with a little bit of everybody. everybody okay. Yeah, um, I've had a couple of really great clients here locally that I work with. I work with athletes. I've also had opportunity to work with uh, corporate sales okay. in production. Um, I've traveled. Um, I was in China. Uh, we did a travel series over there okay. called um, Hashtag Tasby Travel. Um, we uh, pitched it to a lot of local networks. To see is it like the, um, you know, the show that, so, so it's basically you, you know, on Tasby Travels, right. traveling around the world? It was me and my wife. Okay. Um, the idea was to, to pitch a minority couple in Tra a country okay, okay. that you would not normally see black people in or minority all right, all right. and so when we did our study on it for the breakdown they were saying how there's about 90 to 100,000 uh, black people in in China at any given time okay. which isn't a lot when you consider the population oh, yeah, absolutely. of China yeah. so we were like well this would be a really good opportunity to present that and we put together did some pre-pro around it put it together and it was actually something that uh, people wanted to see. Yeah. So I'm hoping that that they that they like it and they send us back for more. Absolutely. And, I think that would be a, yeah, like, I mean, where else can you find not too many black people in the world? I'm sure you can find black people everywhere. Yeah, you can. Um, yeah, you can. <laughs> well, I'm talking about the North Pole, maybe, Alaska. Yeah. You guys can go to Alaska, for example. Well, that's actually something we thought about. Alaska. Right? We've uh, we're talking about Japan. Yeah. yeah. We're talking about that too. Yeah, that 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 would be great.